I'm kind of hyped for this one. Not gonna lie. Ah, uh, so some of my names have got stuck. Why is that up? Why, why is the text? Go away. Press that. There we go. Yeah, some of my mains are uh, from previous games. Got stuff. So we got Skater back. I loved him in MKX. Didn't like him as a character, but I loved his fucking combat. So I'm hyped for that. Um, Shang Tsung, my old Deadly Alliance main. He got uh, he got a season, which is really cool because <laughs> I didn't expect him to get a season. Yeah, so the head is called Mavado's Enemy, which I'm shocked how he's going up against like the Red Dragons in this timeline. Then again, I still find it weird that, you know, uh, Liu Kang said, Hey, Genshi, you know your son? He's your cousin now. How does that make you feel? I'm telling you, man. Liu Kang, worst, worst god ever. Creepiest god ever as well with this whole like weird incest thing he's got going on. Uh, we got Pharaoh. No tall. Just Pharaoh. Which is fine. I'm probably going to use her. She's kind of cool looking in this one. I always found her a bit hard. Elsa, it's nice to see the MKX version. Uh, she was always hard for me to see that I played MKX on my like, console, so graphically it was a little bit low. Uh, let's get rid of this. Challenges. Decatur. I want to have a look at the store. Uh, there's some good stuff in the store. There's some good stuff. We've got a couple of movie outfits. Uh, a movie inspired outfit. Uh, I need dragon crystals. So yeah, we got uh, the 95 uh, <laughs> Sub-Zero. Which is cool. I do love these 95 outfits. We got MK3... Uh, Mac, which is fucking awesome with the green eyes. Albeit the green eyes with his current color palette of spiritual thing, which is weird. Uh, I just say, like, it comes in the thing to get the mask. I will probably save up and buy that. Uh, we got MK3 Rain again. Another cool one. I do love a Ninja Rain. Ninja Rain is fucking cool. We got MK95 Movie Reptile. Don't like these. These are a bit weird. Yeah, but the actual one's pretty cool. Uh, Titan Ashra, I don't care. There is also going to be an MK95 Smoke, which is weird because he wasn't in the film. I don't even think he was in this sequel, but I never saw the sequel, so yeah. So this season is all about Shang Tsung. And I just want to say, I'm really annoyed with this. You can see it there while I'm annoyed. Shang Tsung. When we first saw him, you know, he, he used to take people's souls. Now he does some sort of alchemy thing. So what did they decide would be the best type of skin for him? Zombies. Yeah. Um. Now, the only zombie we've ever had in the original timeline was Liu Kang. And then um, you had the Revenants in uh, the um, MK Reboot and MKX game. So why the fuck do we have zombies now? And if you're going to do zombies, why do we have Liu Kang not as a zombie? <laughs> Come on. You just gave him that. What is this? It's a cool outfit, don't get me wrong, but how did you miss Zombie Liu Kang? Oh, Ermac didn't get anything. I know Ermac's actually got an outfit. Oh, wow, yeah. That Shao got nothing. Yeah, Tanya got a fucking cool one. Finally, Tanya actually got something cool. This, this looks like a nice mixture of old and new Tanya. This is a great mixture. Well done. I've been saying for ages, Tanya needs her white eyes. They're fucking awesome. Again, DLC characters get cut. Yeah, there are some... Uh, uh, 
some characters. Yeah, we need to we need to have some dragon crystals. I'm gonna start with the tower. We're gonna do Takeda's tower. Cause I wanna see the ending of Takeda. I've seen an image. Takeda. Uh did I ever do Movado? I probably didn't finish him. I think I was on Sexual, so let's do that. Yeah, we were doing sexual last. It's been a while. Nitara. I kind of regret what an Omni Man voice line now. If I knew Ultimate MK3 Ermac was coming out, I wouldn't have bought Omni Man. God damn it. I'm a bit annoyed about that. I don't get me wrong, I like having JK Simmons talk to kids into my ear. You know, it's. Mm. Also, this season, two months it lasts for. So we're either getting an off season next or year two sign. How about using those wings to fly out of here? Only after <coughs> I've bled you, Earth Realmer. Let's learn to cater. Uh hold on, first up. Fatalities. We instantly start with a brutality for Farah. That's weird. We get two. Oh wait, no. Uh, I'm using fucking sex war, aren't I? Round one. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ooh. Luckily we're against the, the opponent that seems to fucking hate fighting. I got the wrong D-pad equipped. Don't know anything. Okay. Wait, change D pad, change D pad. Join this. Round two. I'm not quick enough. Fight. Oh, I like that. He doesn't play anything like his MKX one as well. It's been years since played MKX. I mean, I was a bit uh, disappointed that both Takeda and Kung Jin uh, didn't make it onto the MK1 roster. That uh, not. One roster, 11's roster. I was glad that they didn't make it into MK1 because it made would have made no sense, but now that they've rewrote everything. Let's have a look at this. I changed D pad. Nah, it's okay. I got flawless? Flawless victory. I didn't even realize. Oh yeah, I'm level 12 with sex or nice. I might even have to play uh combat league. Baraka. Serena. Yeah, I still think if you buy a skin for a, a character, if they also have a cameo, it should give that to the cameo. Because I feel bad for anyone who bought the uh, Kung Lao skin for MK3 and it was just a cameo who got it. Are you even up for this fight? But I also want to have like... Uh, uh, what is it? I want to have like Scorpion and Sub-Zero's ones. I can understand things like Sector and Cyrax leaks by the way. They could have changed gender. Um, again, I... I still gonna say Liu Kang worst fucking god. His whole thing is, oh yeah, by the way, we can change Fuji into a woman. That is confirmed in game. If you have Johnny Cage versus um No no, it's Rain Raiden versus Kung Lao. Kung Lao starts bringing it up. Like, oh uh, your sister called me and feels like it's like, where is Fujin a woman? Then again, why did Fujin... Fujin didn't die in the old timeline, he was just deleted. Like, before the timeline reset. Ah, uh, Fujin was alive with a past version of Raiden. They were just getting the soul sucks for infant energy. Oh, I don't have a controller uh, on either. Hold on, let me just do that. Tab. Tab, I forgot to turn this back on. There we go. You guys can't see that. Ah, uh, full screen protection. 
Now, if I hold on, let me just get rid of the full screen projection quickly. That's everything. Full screen projection. There we go. Now you got the controller. Now you can see all the movesets. I'm enjoying this. Round I like two. having that on for fighting games. Fight. Albeit I want to get it better looking. Jesus Christ, I'm not that great with this cicada. I need to get Piers on this game. He, I think he's gonna have a lot of fun. We could fucking do King of the Hill and all that. I do find it weird that the cicada was combat pack one though. Like, the combat kids were not popular, still aren't popular to this day. No, so why put him into combat pack one? I still think Homeland is like my favorite one so far. Like a Homelander uh, voice pack. Final round. Fight. <laughs> I don't know his moves. What's on the other ones? 4B. Oh shit. Yeah, a lot of people were playing him at the um, Evo event, Takeda. I heard nothing good, but nothing bad either. Like, I just saw some people playing as him. Some people seem to enjoy their time. Damn, man, this backer is kicking my ass. It's only a medium bot. Tell you what, I might actually buy the next DLC though. Oh, okay, let's try it. Cade as well. What? What? It's only one. It requires button input. Oh, I like that. Hat. That's a really cool. That's a really cool move. I mean, that's okay. I just don't like this head split part. I think that's a bit too much. And I'm like, oh, it's too much. It's too gory. I mean, like, sometimes, like, you know, it's like the whole thing of swearing. Yeah, swearing's fine. But if you do it too much, it's just overkill. And it's like, meh. Oh, it's a uh, pallet swap. Stab face. Yeah, I, I've noticed people like, oh, where's, you know, where's Takeda's thing that we saw in the promotional material, Shirai Ryu? It's just not in the game. The promotional material headpiece is not in the game at all. I don't know why they they just said, no, he's not part of the Shirai Ryu now. I can understand it not being his default one, but... You can rip off and reattach your limbs. Courtesy of Quan Chi's darkest magic. Wait, I thought that was just how Havoc was born. I didn't know Quan Chi had done. But then again, does Chaos Realm even exist? Round one. Fight. Order Realm does. Also found out, um uh Chameleon is not a Zeteran, she's a Saurian, so Saurians exist in this universe. Meaning, what the fuck is a Zentaeron? That just means Liu Kang really did not fucking care for Reptile and just cursed him. Unless it isn't like Reptile as we know him. It's just someone that's just being called Reptile. Because they technically don't call him Reptile in the game. It, it was only in the character selects. Because when they actually talk to him, they, they never mentioned it, that he's called Reptile or anything. So is it the same Reptile? But that means, hold on, that means Chameleon. Chameleon's always been a weird character. If you go by... 
all of the lore uh, of the original timeline, can we reptile slowly lost his ability to stay human that he was using in disguise and kept mutating further and further into being a uh, reptilian? And then the reboot timeline is like, no, that's just how he looks default wise. Uh, so, you know, there was that, but Chameleon never showed up in the reboot timeline. Neither versions of Chameleon. So, that means in this, Saurians look human, so they could slowly degrade into reptilians again, like they did in the original. So is si the size off might not be the reptile we know and love. Like Scorpion, you know, it's not the same Scorpion. General oh, hold on, that's weird. The tower's now got Jack. images of Takeda and Sector. That, that's a bit weird. Still want uh, Cyber Eyes uh, smoke. That'd be great. Especially if it's true that we're getting noob in Combat Back 2. I haven't seen the cameos for Combat Back 2, so who knows, maybe. Let I me mean, see if he can have some noob smoke again. What good is that knowledge to a dead man? Uh, very important, actually, because they made a big thing about MK11. Oh, we made Xiao look um, uh, Round one. more dragon because he absorbed the power of um, Onaga in this time. And it's like, okay, I can get behind that. So why is he look dragon in this? His ancestor defeated Onaga. I don't think it passed down from her, did it? Apparently as well, Ferra um, adds like a hundred health depending on the character. I don't think I'm going to play much Takada, uh, Takeda, but I'm not, uh, not a big fan of it. Oh god. No, I'm dead. Who do you got, Jax? You suffer. Oh, hello. Sector, how the fuck did you miss? Oh, General Shell won't be the end. I don't know what I just did there. I like Takeda's moveset, but I'm just not good at it. Oh god, no. That works. <laughs> I don't know how, but it works. I'm enjoying this. Final round. Fight. Also, I, I just thought about this. Liu Kang in the original timeline, when he came back as a zombie, it's only because like evil spirits possessed his corpse, and one of them was Liu Kang, I think. So like he was like a, a sort of other Ermac, but not quite Ermac. If I'm remembering that right, I think he had a whole tower ending in Deadly Alliance. I still think if you could go back in time and be a part of that, I would have made. Um, uh, I think I would have made it like, oh, Liu Kang doesn't show up as a zombie until Armageddon. That would have been such a big reveal. I think having him die in Deadly Lights and then having him as a zombie in it was kind of like, you know, as a child, I didn't know that he was a zombie in it until Armageddon, but yeah. Fatality. Takeda wins. Because it would be like, wow, he skipped two games in a row. 
I do want to get the um, weekly challenge done this week because the weekly challenge skin is the Liu Kang one that I showed off for this season. Sector. But it's like a slightly different one and it looks really cool. I love if I tell my head I can watch. But sometimes I can. I don't know. Face retracting on this is, is, is okay. Cassie, Jackie, Kojin, me. They call us the combat kids. Is that an insult or not? Hey, so that means that one's from the reboot timeline. <laughs> Round one, fight! Okay. The AI for Takeda is, uh, not the best. Because it's somehow losing to me drastically. <laughs> Oh, it, I like how he's got, he's got like the ability that Scorpion has, a teleportation, so he might still be part Shirai Ryu. I'm not too sure. Losing's the worst, isn't it? Round two. Fight. <laughs> Yeah, see, so he's got his own sort of teleportation ability. How am I doing that? Is that... Yeah, he's got he's got a sort of similar to Scorpion's thing. He can do like the whole grapple, and then you know he's got a teleported move. I do love this fight with Blow. Does a lot of damage. I mean, look. I mean, Sekwal does a lot of damage naturally, actually. Maybe it's that is just compensating. Oh, shit, that was. Okay, we'll do a fatality. I mean, he's okay. I definitely still think Homelander is my favorite. I mean, it's Homelander and then Ermac. I think my worst one, I don't care for Peacemaker. Albeit I do play as him. My worst one to actually play is Quan Chi. By far, it's Quan Chi. Which is a real shame because, you know, I love Quan Chi and Deadly Alliance. I also liked him in MKX, but you know. What I find funny, people are like, oh man, can we get this character? Can we get that character? We haven't seen him for like a game or two. Can we get Onaga? We haven't seen him in two timelines. If I thought so, I <laughs> he skipped out two timelines. <laughs> we haven't seen him since he was in two games so far. That's it. Round one, fight. He has been teased in both timelines, and we have yet to properly see him. I would be a Guan Chi as a uh um camera. I'm feeling it a bit though. With Tato. Round two. Fight. Oh, yeah, look, we're definitely getting better at that one. This punch is super easy for some reason. Not Quan Chi, Shanks some. Don't know how to apply them too much. Might do some burn back. Oh, oh, I really no. Oh, wait, no, we might have to do some main roster characters because I need Dragon Crystals for that Ermac skin. And also, I maxed out Ermac, didn't I?
Let's see this ending. To kill a snake, you cut off its head. Or in the Yakuza's case, its heads. Kenji said I couldn't do it. But he didn't know what I knew. That the family's bosses were meeting to talk shop and settle disputes. In one fell swoop, I could decapitate them all. As they nursed whiskey and negotiated, I waited. My moment came, then was cut short, when a fiery portal opened. Out of it stepped men I'd never seen before. And from the boss's low bows and averted eyes, I could tell they were the ones really in charge. Oh, Mavado and the Red Dragons. Listening in, I learned they run the Red Dragon, an ancient clan secretly behind all of Earthrealm's crime families. I could crush the Yakuza, but these Red Dragon would simply replace it. Probably with something even worse. I'm facing a powerful new enemy in my war on the underworld. One I never saw coming. And I've got to finish them. Or die trying. Meh. It's kind of an ending that I don't care for. I don't know. It's kind of a meh ending. Right, let's see what's going on with the season. Actually, hold on. Why do we have tutorial? What? Oh, oh, God. Hold on. Oh. Red Tour and both MK is. Uh, full combat purchases. Uh, yeah, I already. No. What was that other notification? Ah, uh, patch notes. Okay. Yeah, look, this uh, this loop came on. It's. Uh, went around the throw, perform kicks, fights, cameos. Uh, complete invasion. Okay, so we, we can get this done easily. Uh, yeah, what's the tutorial telling me? The, I've got challenges still. I literally went through all these. Uh, right, let's do the shrine quickly. I think we've got one, yeah. Still think this isn't the best the shrine. It's fine, but eh. I kind of like the crypts. I think the crypt is cool, especially with where MK11 was taking it. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I've got this Kado. Uh, there we go. We've got the pyramids. Oh, they are. It's slow today, ain't it? New movie. This Kado could play and then just. I'm back. Uh, right, fire. Let's go and see what my Takeda stuff is. Yeah, I think I I have maxed out. Uh, what is this? Oh, that looks so stupid. I'm not. Oh, he's got all scars down his face. Criminal reformed. I think that looks worse. And the taunt. Oh, I did get a brutality. Yeah, uh, let's go see mastery quickly. I'm probably gonna have to play a base roster character to get some crystals. I need 500. Oh, I love it when it reviews data. Mastery. Uh, did I do all the DLC? I think the only ones I haven't done is Quan Chi, Peacemaker, and now it's Kato. Yeah, I've done. Um, do we get dragon crystals at all for DLC? We don't. Uh, Peacemaker I was close to. Country I barely started, yeah. Uh, I might do some Kong Lao then. Uh, how many... Who have I maxed out? I've maxed out Smoke. Let's see, how many crystals do you get? Okay. Wow, you get crystals once. And you only get 100. Great. And that's only at level 31. Who's the closest? Shang Tsung. I'm gonna have to do more Shang Tsung. Let's do Shang Tsung then. Let's see what this invasion is this year. Well, this month, what season? The Soul League. I'm very shocked to see a Shang Tsung. The Shang Tsung who perplexes us is truly pernicious. Like all Shang Tsungs, he sought to master dark magic. But unlike all the others, 
he has become its slave. He cast a spell from an ancient tome, one which promised the power to consume souls and use their energy to live forever. But his arrogance made him careless, and he cast the spell incorrectly. The error made his body dependent on soul energy. He must consume tens of thousands daily just to stay alive. But if he's a titan, isn't Having he already a mole? his timeline souls, Shang Tsung now seeks to sate his insatiable hunger with ours. You must defeat him before he can devour them all. If... But if he's a titan, doesn't he get all souls? Isn't he immortal? Are we just forgetting that? That you're immortal as a titan? You actually have to be killed somehow? So he never needed the soul spell in the first player? Unless for some... Well, no, because he's going between timelines. He has to be. Surely he's a titan if he's going between timelines. Did they not think? Yeah, I don't have a map yet. They haven't. Someone hasn't plotted out a course yet, so this is actually kind of blind. Oh god, we're playing Peacemaker last? Why? Uh, the blue pathways are unlocked, the red pathways are locked, the green leads to the next encounter. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay, we got... We got pathways and all that. Okay. Uh, we did Cyrex, we maxed out Cyrex, I remember doing that. Uh, I guess I was just doing Peacemaker just to max him out. I don't fucking remember. It's been a long, long time. Sector. Sector. Oh yeah, cameos would be the better option, wouldn't they, for Bristols? We can have a look at that, actually. Could we, hold on, let's quickly go back and have a look. Hold on, I also just want to quickly say something about Shang Tsung. I swear we already have an Order of Darkness outfit for him, so what the fuck's he going to get? Oh shit, that's gear. Uh, Union of Light, yeah, we've got the... We got the order of dark. We don't have one for him, but we do have the order of darkness one. It was used in the story. So we also have a union. See what I mean? They made like a union of light one, so we definitely can have a good Shang Tsung. You know, good. You know, in like a power thing. So, if we've already got an Order of Darkness Shang Tsung, why make a Shang Tsung season and not give us, well, you know, like a character who doesn't have their Order of Darkness outfit yet? Because look, we we get an Order of Dark. No, that's a Union of Light outfit. What? I guess you get it. Oh, yeah, it's buying it, ain't it? So, I guess when you beat it. I don't understand what their what their thing was there. God, I want that Ermac skin so bad. I just don't want to pay for it. I really don't want to pay for it. Oh, I like that. It says optional on top of them. Yes. I know about that. Well, you might as well. I don't see why a fight would be optional. I don't do it for the XP. Not like it's one of those stupid challenge ones. I don't know if I'll do like half today, half another day, or if I'm just going to do like a Mesa. Because we've already done the Takeda hour, which I never do on stream. I have never done a tower on stream. Well, outside of like these um, seasonal ones. I've always done them for. Uh, 
last one that I can do brutality wise must be uh down forward. Yeah, they're kind of hard. Down back A. What was some of the other ones? Yeah, he's brutality is a hard to get off Shang Tsung Zor. Oh, it's the uh, Ermac skin for this. Yeah, because Ermac actually got one. The zombie one looks all right on Ermac, because, you know, it's Ermac. I just can't wait to get the MK3 one, man. It's... Oh, not go wrong with MK3, these outfits. Wouldn't mind, you know, like, um... The MK3 Sub Zero to match the other ninjas, but I don't mind how it's how he's got the scars and all that. Oh shit! Yeah, we turn we turn around. Uh hell no! <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Lady of Halal, Halal, ah. Lady of Halal, 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 Halal. Oh yeah, she got a uh, Order of Darkness skin. Oh no, Sector. It's gonna be so weird that we're gonna have Sector Sirens combo for the first time. I still want tag team. It's this guy. Do I have grab one by chance? I do, and it's hold up. There we go. That's gonna be my easiest route. Ooh, I don't think I've seen that one. If I have it, it's been a while. I like that. Shang Tsung wins. Gotta love having uh JK Simmons just, just talking in your ear. He's got such a you know. It's just one of those voices that you just love to hear, you know? Gotta do more fights to do, gets me more XP. Might as well. Uh, I wish the maps you know, that the fans make would just build into the game. Oh, I like that Reiko skin. Fuck, I really love when Rego just grabs me. It feels great, man. Yeah, I might make a new overlay just for more combat, I don't know. Sweet, that's fucking adventurous. I do like the Quan Chi Molina combo though, that's pretty cool. I really don't like how her jaw splits into that fucking dying like zombie look. Oh. No, it's just, I thought it was like a rain combo there for some reason. See what we got. Just melt him one. 
See this one on side. Shang Tsung can change form in this. He can shapeshift in gameplay form after he gets given the abilities by the um, Titan Shang Tsung in the story. So why can't he steal souls? So it used to be, oh, he would steal souls and that's who would take the form. And you know, his whole gameplay in the original games was, oh, he would just steal your... Um, yeah, it was like, oh, he's partly stealing your souls, I think. I was so annoyed that, you know, Shang Tsung was being built up as like the big bad. Then they're like, oh, there's Kronika. And it's like, oh, why her? Turns out, oh, no, it's not actually Kronika. And that was, you know, actually pretty cool. And then it's like, yeah, but Shang Tsung, by the way, is just like pathetic in the fucking story. I was really interested in the whole Kronika thing. And then when they revealed it to be another Shang Tsung, I was like, oh, that's, that's cool. They've made both endings canon and then like oh no there's even more than just the two endings that we saw it's like they said that the timeline split with the when chronica died so you know that means no matter what Liu Kang had to be the one to do it because that's when the timeline split i could understand like raiden you know i'd be like oh he snuck in the last second and took it from someone or Fujin or something like that that means aftermath would have been different really but you know somehow we have a katana one we have a kung lao one kung lao shouldn't even be there because kung lao was thrown into the endless ocean of blood or something unless he just teleported you know he does have that ability to teleport to his hat Sometimes, because he doesn't do it in the fucking game. Oh, here we got collector. Ooh, got keys, but I've got no money. <coughs> Sorry, a bit of dry throat. I also don't like how the logo is copying that movie. I really don't like that movie. Oh, don't get me wrong, the 95 movie isn't great, but that's because one, it's... When I say this now, I don't think the director of that film is a good director. We've... What's his... I don't even remember the guy's name. He, he got Resident Evil. He basically won over Ed Boon and John Tobias by showing him CGI. They said... And it's like, yeah, the only reason why that film done marginally okay is because um, Mortal Kombat didn't really have a story back in the day. It had like bits of a story that you could tell, but not much. Okay, go play Mortal Kombat 1 and tell me if there's really a story. There's, there's like text blurbs and then there was no sort of canon ending to Mortal Kombat 2. You know, that's just how arcade fights were back in the day. So you could be very loose with it. Still had to try and make an okay film, and I think that's what we made. Okay film. But then, you know, I don't think the one with Cole Young is any fucking good. If the leaks are to be true, Cole's fucking dead come the sequel, which, yo, yes, we fucking win. The only thing is, though, we get, instead of Jade, we get fucking Jada Smith. I still don't understand how the fuck they had Melina uh, in the film. And it's like, okay, the sequel, we're going to have Katana. Um, Melina and Katana are two different actresses. And it's not even like, oh, okay, well, maybe they're sisters. They're completely different ethnicities. Melina's a black woman. Katana's a Chinese woman. It's like, oh, this, this don't work. The film's got awful as well. If, if it's to be true the reason why they didn't have johnny cage in it is because the producers didn't want a white guy to be the savior and it's like have you guys seen more combat like johnny cage definitely isn't the savior during the early games after like, around the mk3 mk4 side he kind of becomes a bit more of a main character but then he dies i think and then sort of takes a back seat to like uh shujinko and Raiden. So I don't know what the fuck the executive producers were going on about with that. Johnny Cage has never been a big thing until MK9, you know, the reboot one. 
And then I'm just like, they wouldn't really call him the savior. He's just sort of the lucky ones and Oggies are fucking killed. Oh, well, that, that film, I really don't like how they're like, oh yeah, by the way, we're going to make um, Scorpion. Uh, he comes from feudal Japan. But uh, he's a samurai for some reason. And yeah, but his outfit's very samurai inspired. But then it's like, oh, we, we do see that the attack on his village is done by the. Um, oh, fuck. What's Sub Zero's clan called? It's done by the Lin Kuei. We, we literally see that happen. And then it's like, oh yeah, um, Sub-Zero can just live for like thousands of years for some reason. They're like, oh, it's Quan Chi's magic, uh, 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 Shang Tsung's magic. It's like, that's not really Shang Tsung's magic. And also why the Lin Kuei Helping Shane, like, yeah, they weren't exactly the best people. Uh, and especially Bihan and all that. And then, you know, Jax is there, and it's like, Jax is a chosen fighter. But, you know, you have to be chosen to enter Mortal Kombat by a random tattoo thing. There was like one good scene in the film, and that's only because Kano turns around and tells, uh, Kong Lao to shut up, otherwise he's gonna eat Natros out of like his sombrero or something like that. He's gonna shove his sombrero up his ass. It's like, yeah, that's that's a pretty fucking funny, funny line. Uh, that's like the one I've seen in life. Reiko is nothing more than a screaming brute. Matara was fucking there, I guess. Uh, no, Shang Tsung. No, it's it's the one from the '95 film. You can't go wrong with him. He, he does make a good Shang Tsung. Uh, Kung Lao and Liu Kang's roles were like flipped from... It wasn't even like the original versions. It was like from the... Um, the Shaolin Monks versions. And as much as I love Shaolin Monks, it isn't like the best version of them. <laughs> they have like this stupid rivalry going on that kind of became the stable going forward. And it's like... Uh, I don't... I don't even know if I like that rivalry. Also, they were really fake. They were like super fucking dumb in that game. Don't get me wrong, I love Shaolin Monk's stuff. I've got so many full memories playing it. I fucking got into emulation just to beat that game with my dad. I love it to death. I would love to see a remake. They are idiots in that game. That's that's a game. Oh, I love that time you're after. That's a game you could say uh, Johnny becomes a. Uh, becomes a saber in because he literally has to tell him, hey, stop fighting. You're being deceived by Shang Tsung. What? There we go. Yo, know, so. There's that. Yeah, if someone in there flips and it's like, oh, they. I think they were brothers in the film. And it's like, they're not. They, they were friends in the original timeline and then. I think they were cousins in the rebooted timeline. No, they just sort of trained together. And I think they were cousins in the movie or they were brothers and it, it, it just didn't come off well at all. Also, I'm going to say this. Yes, I don't think... I don't think it matters what race uh, Raiden plays because Raiden is a god and can choose his form. Test your might. And I always thought in game he was like a mix between white and Asian in the original timelines. I still think the best version of Raiden is the reboot one. Uh, design wise that is. I love the sort of old face and the voice was brilliant. I do think Raiden could pick but the actor they got to play him. Good actor. He's just very short. Like he's incredibly short and I'm just sitting there thinking you're this, you're this god of thunder and all that and uh... Yeah, you, you, you know, you, you know, not exactly intimidating. If I saw you, and I'm not exactly an intimidating person, but if I saw you and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you, I think I'd laugh. I definitely think I'd laugh. 
because he is so short. And yeah, yeah, I can understand that they had to get a Japanese person playing. I, this is what I mean. Some some things don't translate well from one media to another. In a game, you could sort of you can choose different aspects of writing that you like. You know, you could make him Asian, you know, Japanese sort of design, and make him tall and things like that. So you, you would find it really hard to find in real life. Um, you know, so I understand that there's that. But yeah, there's just I, I wasn't the biggest fan on on Raiden. That for, I wouldn't be a fan of him in that film. Fucking hell, they all fucking sucked. I don't even remember Jax too much anyway. I just remember like he's there and then he gets his arms ripped off by Bihan. It's like yeah, he kind of got confirmed that that's Ermac who does it. So why give it to Bihan? Uh, like I say. Not a film I like. I don't know why MK fans fucking like that film. I really cannot tell you. But apparently they do. And I'm just like, why? It's definitely not the worst from what I hear. Annihilation is still the worst MK film. I have never watched it and probably never will. But it's not the best. It still is like the 95 is better. And even then it's like only better by default. Like I said, I don't think MK uh, translates too well into a movie without doing some serious rewrites to the first game to start with. Because it's like, okay, an MK tournament uh, with the roster, you've got to add characters that weren't there. So I do say, like, I don't like the 95 film greatly, but I can understand, like, that's where we got the whole thing of, oh, Katana was actually at the original fight, but she was spectating Reptile. While, you know, it's always been iffy about Reptile's tenacity during that, he's just sort of, he's not actually part of the fight until like the reboot. He was just a hidden fighter that they then made into a character. You know, what was the guy, there, there is like one guy I really like, it was in the uh, 95 film, I can't remember his name now. I think it began with a J, it might have been like, weren't Jackie, it was something similar to that. It's, he gets killed by Goro and you see Soul get taken and all that. I would like to see him in a game. Definitely don't want to see Cole Young. Like, yeah, if, if they ever put Cole fucking Young into the game, I, I'd be pissed. I remember when everyone saw uh, Kenshi in this. Uh, for the first time, myself included, I was like, holy shit, it's Cole Young. No, no, it's like, then he goes, I'm Kenshi. He's like, oh, thank fuck you're not Cole. Thank fuck you're not Cole Young because I would have been dead from that. Fatality. Yeah, Cole Young is like the worst Mortal Kombat character I can think of. I don't think there is anyone worse than him. Even the meme characters are not that bad. I want to see some of the meme characters come back. It, it, hell, you don't even have to keep them as memes. You could literally make them like full on fleshed out characters. Mocap could be like, oh, Johnny Cage is making an animated film and uh, he's doing the motion capture for it, but he, you know, he doesn't actually uh, fight properly. Yeah, he fights properly, but then something happens like the uh, studio is invaded and that's how he's in there. You know, you can even give him extra outfits, actually make him a full fleshed out character. It's just his default outfit is the motion capture suit. Uh, you could make it like the uh, the original one. Uh, it's DLC and get like a more modern suit, you know, for motion capture. You know, Meat, I feel like Meat could actually be like a proper uh, full on character still. Because, you know, Meat's whole thing of, hey, uh, uh, what was it? Meat's thing is like, oh, he's a failed Shang Tsung experiment that didn't want to be killed, so he escaped. Fatality. Shang Tsung wins. I mean, hell, they even put Blaze in. Uh, started off as like a meme 
Same as Ermac. They started off as basically memes of secret characters and trolls and all that, and they actually made them into like proper characters. So I, why can't we have that again? I think it would go really well if we could start getting those sort of hidden characters again. You know, so can we please start unlocking shit? Please. Like, yeah, I know that we have it like this game, if you get, you know, beat the game, you get Havoc. Uh, you had it in MK11, gets a certain chance to get Frost. Can we just unlock, like, have secret hidden characters? Yes, data miners are going to tear the shit out of the game and find it. But some of us don't look at data mine stuff and actually talk to other people and try and do things. I mean, look at the Destiny community. They go through, like, this whole ARG shit. Every time there's a raid coming out, well, every time there's like new stuff coming out to to get things, and it's it's beautiful for them, and I would like to see some of that, you know. Could we, you know, please get some of that? Mortal Kombat really needs that sort of community word of mouth type thing. Song's obscene experiments is a new Baraka hybrid. This abomination feeds on souls, not flesh. His appetite is insatiable. Why would, if Shang Tsung needs to feed on thousands of souls daily, why would he make a creature to kill people that eat souls? Why? That's then restricting how many souls he can eat, unless it's going to be like an Ermac thing of, oh, he collects the souls, and then in the end, he's just going to devour him. The hybrids I created from you have been consigned to the Ten Hells. Oh, there are actually hybrids in this timeline. No, that's that. What? What is Shang Tsung made? My flesh bits. Also, I'm just gonna say, I'm surprised considering uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation has, well, Shaolin Monks really had um, Ed Boon's favorite costume for reptiles. He's sort of my favorite costume for reptile. Uh, like, it, it became the staple uh, costume for reptile uh, for Annihilation. And then you can see that it's inspired uh, reptile going forward to reboot and X. Why have we not had that as a skin in this game? I would love it, because I hate... I hate how they made Reptile look in this. The whole human thing, and then he's got this whole tattoo, and he looks fucking... He looks like a high-end model, and all that. Like, an actual model. Um, and I, I just don't like... Yeah, you know, I'm okay with characters looking like normal people, you know? Not everyone has to be the pretty boy and things like that. Like, don't get me wrong, yeah, some characters you want, like Katana and Melina, you want them to be the prettiest, for instance. Uh, I think Jay's also one you want to look very pretty. But when it gets, especially when it comes down to guys, not everyone has to look the prettiest. Uh, no, for instance, like uh, Jackie and Cassie, I don't think you'd want them to be the prettiest of girls and all that. They're meant to be. Yeah, it's, it's weird to explain. Uh, they, they can look quite normal. I feel like this thing, I think Natara could look normal. He was never like the prettiest of characters. Finish him. Some characters, yeah, like I say, you do want them to be like the prettiest, like Liu Kang, Hong Lao, Johnny Cage, uh, Sub Zero. Both um, Scorpion, but I feel like some of the more lesser characters. Well, I wouldn't really say Reptile's a lesser character, but Reptile. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm just used to him being Reptilian for so long. Maybe that's it. I hate the tattoo down his face and arm as well. I fucking despise that tattoo.
Uh, I also miss old man Shang Tsung. Well, not old man, but like elderly bloke Shang Tsung from M you know, from Deadly Alliance. I miss that. Like this outfit is close, but not right. Shijinko, he's, next time we see him canonically, he's not going to be an old man. You know, he's being trained by uh, Kong Bye. Lao. I don't know if I like this skin for um, Scorpion, like, at all. Oh, sorry, I hate the, the Hellfire skin, because that's what this is, I believe. It is his Order of Darkness Hellfire. Well, it's, it's his Order of Darkness one. The Hellfire version is meant to be um, Hanzo, but you still hate how the outfits don't change voices. And they, what's well, is never runs proven with... Um, Injustice 2, they can have it where skins have uh, certain outfits. You know, they've done it where I believe Cheetah uh, can get a Vixen outfit in Injustice 2. Uh, Al Jordan can get a John Stewart outfit. You know, there's plenty of things like that. Where they actually do change voices. So... You don't even have to do it like the outfits has the voice. Imagine if you could pick a voice, because I would pick like MK Reboot, MKX, and MK11 Raiden voice. I love that voice for Raiden, you know. Especially if you have like a dark Raiden and all that. Oh, I love that voice on Raiden. Also, I love it how we got like the MK11 Dark Raiden. Well, it's the MKX to MK11, Dark Rain. Uh, but we don't have the uh, MK Deception, Dark Rain. So that is a different Rain. We still use Blue Lightning. I think it was like game limitations back then probably would have prevented him from having Red Lightning. I do think Dark Rain. Well, no, he only had like Red Lightning in this timeline because he was corrupted by Shinnok's Amulet. Well, previous previous reboot timeline because he was corrupted by Shinnok's Amulet that turned him. Um, Evil. This timeline doesn't. Ex well, new era timeline doesn't explain why it's red in you know, all the other timelines. It just is. And you know, the original was like, well, it's just raid and come back, but he's evil. I can't remember the reason, but he's evil, and so why would he change his lightning color? I don't know. I would love an MK game with, like so deep Fight. customization. I'm fine not getting another uh, Injustice. I feel like Injustice 2, it's fine where it is. Like, I don't think we need another Injustice, man. I don't think... I think it was fine. I loved some of the characters. I loved having the Turtles, for instance. I didn't care much for Hellboy. I didn't care how two of the DLC characters were MK ones. You know, we had Raven and Sub-Zero. Like, I liked how in the first one we had Scorpion. It's like, okay, yo. Know, it was never around showing off some new stuff. Never around's whole thing is, hey, look, our logo is Scorpion. Yeah, you know, so it, I kind of am like, okay, fine. So, and then, you know, sequel if you want to do Sub Zero, okay, kind of makes sense. Fatality. But then Game you added Raiden, and I was like, eh, that's enough. I'm Raiden in that game, got Black Lightning as a skin. It's like, that's pretty cool. Because, you know, it was like, well, do we need two lightning-based characters? No? Okay, we'll make one of them a skin for the other. It's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of cool that you do that. I think they could do that for MK1, you know? Character skins, I don't... Let's say, for example, this Shang Tsung. If they made him look like... Um, Deadly Alliance Shang Tsung, instead of... MK1 Shang Tsung wearing a Deadly Alliance costume wouldn't care if it only had one skin variant because I'm not going to use the other skin variants because I want it to look like Deadly Alliance Shang Tsung. I don't want him to be Deadly Alliance inspired but green. For instance. That's why when I play with the ultimate NK skins uh, in this game, I've not got them wearing like 
an alt version. I've got them wearing the original color skin. Because it's like, okay, I want it to look like the previous one. Brutality. I just don't understand why as well why Shang Tsung doesn't turn back in, at the end of this. Then he's got loot. <sighs> Right, sorry, I have returned. I might make some MK videos about this. There's theories and the whole sh thing why I hate Liu Kang. I think that might be fun. I might do some scripts, do some editing again. Properly dig into it. I think I could have a little bit of fun with that. Oh, crystals, yeah. I saw someone saying that Havoc needs a buff. I really don't think Havoc needs a buff. Do, do people generally believe that? Like, I think some characters, yeah, probably would need a buff. Like, Natara definitely needed one. Uh, apparently, she got one. Uh, but I don't think Havoc needs one. I always felt like he was fine. And I'm always seeing Havoc being used in clips and all that. And people do. Oh, wait, it's green? I remember that being yellow. Is it always green? Maybe. Maybe it's the other one coming off of that. The other one is yellow. I know that for a fact. I remember that one being yellow as well. Oh, pardon me. There, we've got 10 levels to go. Let's go. I kill him. Oh. I might install Injustice 2 and go through that game again. Unlock everything. Just play about. It has been a while. I never played it on PC. I have it. I played it on uh, Xbox One. I played Injustice 1 on PC. Um years later but you didn't have to unlock much for that it was very simple injustice one is i feel like that's a problem with um injustice 2. oh i don't mind that natara skin my best i still think her best one uh has been the order of darkness raiden look for her the same i feel like if it didn't have the zombie skin it would look fucking brilliant it would probably be her uh, go-to skin for me. Do I have any brute salad yet? Mm, I do. Okay, she's just dead. Shang Tsung wins. 
That was an easy fight. I love going up against an Atara AI because they are somehow really stupid. I don't understand how. I don't know how you made. Oh, let me turn on that fan. Where's the fan? Oh, it's right behind me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why the Atara AI doesn't fight back. It's it's so weird, man. I don't think the fan's being picked up, so that's good. Yeah, doesn't look like it is. It's just warm in here. I got my nieces over, so uh, I have to actually have the door shut while I stream. I'm not too loud for them when I go slow. I think Kenshi plays really well in this game. I've always liked Kenshi. I don't think there's been a bad Kenshi. The thing in Kenshi's kind of like an easy one to get right. Blind Swordsman. Ah, damn it. I wanted to push him up and then do down back alley. What the fuck are you going to subject? The, yeah, we're going to research on a corpse with no head. Then again, what are you going to research on a corpse? God, I do miss the double XP though. Know? I wish that stuck around a bit longer. What was it two days we got? I did I don't even think I did much of day two of it. Maybe I did. I think I streamed, I can't remember. It's been a while, man. I'm three hundred percent weak to ice? Jesus Christ. Oh man, each. Ooh, not bad, Lima. Not my favorite Lima. Eh? I feel like if we didn't have the cloth at the front and the back, I feel like that Lima is going to be better. Maybe the headpiece changed up as well. I do want need to look up how um how this. Shang Tsung skin compared to the original because I know that a lot of the uh, Deadly Alliance skins do not uh, come over really well. Uh, there's a lot sort of a censorship, uh, both on male and female outfits. I think the best one has been Wan Chi's. He's one's kind of one to one. It just doesn't suit the new uh, body too well. I mean, for some reason, they covered up Shang's uh, nipples. Not Shang's, uh, Shao Kahn's nipples. It's like, I thought male nipples were fine in video games. I thought we just had a problem with female nipples. Her. But that didn't work. Yeah, I think it's something like Sindel has got... Uh, in the original, she got sort of like thigh highs with straps, and then they've just given her like fallen leggings. And then, then Tara's one is fucking criminal. Like that looks almost nothing like it within the details. Uh, the male ones ain't super bad. I know that for the changes, but the female ones apparently are. Excellent. Oh, please don't sub there. I know it's like new day of a character coming out and all that, so servers aren't usually the best. I just need coin, well, dragon crystals, whatever the bloody other called. Now I want to be able to get the uh, max skin. Oh, it's my ship name from Sea of Thieves, the Lady of Wayne. <laughs> oh, it's uh, Marina Sub Zero. Interesting combo. I do wonder, will they, for the next MK game, they can't call it MK2. 
Unless they call it MK2 and use uh, the um, Arabic numerals, not the Roman numerals. Um, that would be the only way they could do it because they were like, oh, well, we can call this one MK1 because there isn't an MK1. It was just called MK. No, it was just called Mortal Kombat before. Uh, what happened to all of these? I have no idea. No, that's how they got away with this one. So, will they call it MK2 and just have the Arabic numerals? If so, that's kind of meh. That means we do have two Mortal Kombat 2s. Hey, one more rank to go for sex or at the very least. I mean, cameos ain't leveling up too slow. It's, uh... Fighters, especially main rosters, 35 levels, I still think it's too much. I have to get a key for that one. And a key for that one, okay, uh, shop. That's not the right shop. Just keep running. Yeah, I don't understand why um why smoke's getting a 95 outfit. It's like didn't show up in it. Like people really want Katana's 95 one. I, I like you could do Katana's, Johnny's, Sonya's. No, I I don't understand why they decided. Why am I getting- I swear I blocked this person on Snapchat and they still somehow- Because they're in my phone contacts. Let me take my phone contacts. I still get notifications from them. Oh man. Yes, I don't understand why I didn't get to Katana's, Johnny's and Shang Tsung one Fight. before we get, um... Before we get- uh, no, made up ones like Smoke. I understand it's like, oh, well, we want all the ninjas so then they can look the same, but really? Because you haven't got one for Rain and you haven't got one for Ermac. Fucking hate these portal things they added to Quan Chi. I'm not a Quan Chi fan in this game. I love him in Deadly Alliance, and I find him pretty good in X, but why am just, no. No, I'm not, I'm not a MK1. I also don't understand why Quan Chi was DLC. Like, there's so many main characters to DLC. Three of the main characters. It's like, why? You have the big bad villains DLC, which is dumb. It was done when you'd done it in MK11. I know Shao went the big bad, but he was pretty important to it. Again, I do think Goro has so far been the best pre-order because he isn't in the MK1 story, uh, I mean the MKX story, but he is important to a side story that was going on in the comics that never came to light because, yeah. Servers are doing great. Oh, no, I might actually be disconnecting now. I've got... Oh, what's going on there? Drop frames. What's what's happening here? Why am I? Oh, I'm dropping frames still. Why am I dropping frames? How's the uh, stuff looking? Error. Yep, that don't look good. That's not looking good. Bitrate's not doing too well. Weird, really, because the bitrate is really fucking high on... Uh, that's... That's France for you. I'm a bit far away, so the fr drop frames are going great. Uh... Uh, it seems like it's coming up well, actually, so I don't understand why the... Oh, yeah, the frame rate would be pretty low. Uh, coming back. Okay. Uh, yeah, the frame rate was down to like 20 frames. 
Uh, right, give me a plastic. Oh, I don't want that then, do I? I might just do like this one plateau and then call it a day. I only want to stream just for a little bit with this game. Let's try it. Let's get it up. Start doing this. I might do a couple YouTube videos on just MK1 in general. I don't know. I have to have a think. Oh, hey! I love these rooms, get a ton of outfits usually. No, I guess no outfits for me. Yeah, I might do it up until the boss fight, go to the next area, and then call it for the evening. Wow, not a single outfit, really. Come on, at least two outfits would be nice. No! I, I like these places when they give me outfits, not consumables. We got a smoke pallet. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try and get the uh, thing. This isn't Mortal Kombat 1, is it? I wouldn't know, to be fair. This is Mortal Kombat 1, yeah. On to stream though, Shadow. Are oh, you having a nice day? Yeah, this is uh this is the um the first Mortal Kombat. Oh, I actually do have to fight this one. As they say. Fight. Oh, Mortal Kombat one, uh, be like people. No, we've uh because for some reason they decided hey, we're doing a reboot. Uh, we've had Mortal Kombat in, in what was it 92 the first one came out and then we had Mortal Kombat again in 2011 which was a reboot so instead of calling this one Mortal Kombat they called it Mortal Kombat 1 because we have never had a Mortal Kombat 1 technically uh, but then it's really weird because if you look in the game files, the game's called Mortal Kombat 12. Finish him. What process? Yeah, it's it's a really weird process. The worst thing is, yes, this is a reboot. And it's the same way they've done the previous reboot. You kind of have to know what happened in the previous timeline to do it. So... It... This really isn't like a whole reboot. And the worst thing is, this isn't like the previous one where it's like, okay, we understand that we're changing the timeline. No, this straight up continues from Mortal Kombat 11 story. If you didn't play 11 and you didn't play its DLC, uh, it really does fuck everything over. This is Mortal Kombat 12. Threatens to consume the timeline itself. Stop him before we are cast into oblivion. Yeah, I was right. This this Titan, this Shang Tsung is a Titan. So he's immortal. So why do we? Why does he have to get a spell to become immortal? And the surface are dying again. I don't understand this. I don't get wrong. I'm glad that you know we get seasons with like little stories about you know lesser timelines but i i don't think we needed a second shang Tsung timeline i endured as a child do not lie i know the truth i really don't understand why he needed to eat soul well why he needed to have a spell to be immortal if he was a titan Bye. Which are already immortal. Why did Garrus get invisibility move? Oh, it's not. It's the bullshit of break the hourglass. There we go. Freezes him. I also don't understand why we got zombie skins. But, uh, 
Shang Tsung season. Zombies are more along the lines of Quan Chi's thing. I also don't understand why it's green. Like, yeah, Quan Chi, uh, not Quan Chi, Shang Tsung's had green powers in the past, but, um, it, he's never had a green costume. He's had yellow and red. Actually, I think he said yellow more than anything, because that was like his MK2 costume. I, I think we should have had a Katana season. Wait, I think we've had a Katana season. That might have been season four? I have to check about that. I think we need a Garrus season. That would have been cool. What if Garrus became the Titan and he was... Well, we already have an Uber of Darkness one. I guess it would have to be a Union of Light Garrus. I guess someone would have had to have made him. No, like... Oh, that would be Trace Kronika. There's so many things they could do for these seasons. I don't know why. Like, I watched a theory uh, when the reptile season happened, season five, and it was, hey, um, oh, season four was Melina. That's why, yeah. It was, yeah, uh, I can predict which which ones we would get. And the person predicted right. It was going to be Raiden and then Reptile. It's like, oh, okay, yeah. And then he was like, okay, we will be getting... Uh, like a katana one and all that because you know the characters that were left were either dlc or were already had their outfits order of darkness at, or union of light um or they you know they were a big thing in the story like Liu Kang and Shang Tsung and then we get a Shang Tsung one I was like why we've got both the order of light and uh, Union of Light ones for Shang Tsung. It, I don't see a need for it. Another uh, Shang Tsung one, basically. Go on, Sector. I need a lot of damage, please. Well, he missed. Oh, I fucking hate flying Garrus. Well, at least he just got without the Matara to do it. You lose. I love that. I'd never heard him do the you lose. God, I love JK Simmons as an announcer. Liu Kang has no right to decide my destiny. Perhaps not, but he has fight. No, Liu Kang's a terrible god. I will die on this fucking hill. He literally only made uh, Quan Chi and Shang Tsung have terrible lives. Solely, solely because of his pettiness on a timeline that didn't happen to him. Because this is meant to be MK Reboot version. MK Reboot taking place during the MK2 time period, Liu Kang had become the Titan. And it's like, okay, why did you do this to Shang Tsung? He has technically done little to you. And then Quanchi, you haven't even fucking seen. It was literally meant like I think Hong Lao fought him in that part during the MK9 game. They made like the whole Deadly Alliance thing and they're like, oh okay, they're taken just before Kong Lao gets his neck snap. So he's won the um the tour. That is cheating. That is fucking cheating, Garrison, you know it. So, you know, he, he had won the MK tournament he was about to, and then Shang's, uh, ah, um, Shao Kahn cheats and comes up behind him and snaps his neck. And it's like, okay. Um, 
So you're taking just before that next snap. There is no reason for you to hate these two this much, especially Quan Chi, who you made a slave because you didn't like him. But you made Shao Kahn the person who rules over both of them, as far as you're aware, because you don't know anything about um, uh, Shinnok uh, being the true master of Quan Chi. You made, you know, you made them. You made him still a general in Outworld and had a pretty decent life. You are a terrible fucking god. You took away Johnny Cage's happiness. Yes, he didn't have the best relationship with Sonya, but in between MKX and Eleven, they were they were kind of sorting things out. And then she dies in Eleven, and then you know you take away his daughter, so you know he's got no family. And then you gave him a failed marriage. That's great. Now, you still made Beehan a fucking dick. Reptile, you gave a better life, but for some reason you changed his species and then decided, hell, uh, he can shapeshift and he's like one of the few who can do it. And by the way, um, every one of these species is like fully against that mutation. Uh, and then, you know, you give Baraka a nice life. Baraka, one of the most vilest villains in the original timeline. You give him a nice life. But, um... Yeah, you just completely... Uh, fuck him over by having the Targot uh, disease, I think. Katana and Melina... Now, remember, Katana hated Melina. Because she was like, oh, it's an abomination clone. Later on, she starts liking her in the original time. I don't remember that reboot. And wants to get better with her, but it never works out. Uh, you made Katana her younger sister, so she's not heir to the throne anymore. God, Liu Kang is a terrible fucking god. Oh, yeah, by the way, Raiden doesn't have any powers. Um, so he's not even, like, a Japanese god anymore. He's just... I think he's meant to be Chinese in this because for some reason he's hanging out in China uh, as a monk uh, with your former best friend. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, his brother who had this whole plan in Aftermath that, you know, you two work together on to, you know, make sure that Shang Tsung wouldn't just straight up take control of the timeline or that. Yeah, you turned him into a woman. Uh, Sector and Syrah actually might have turned into a woman. Um, Takeda, uh, Kenji's child. Oh, fuck, not even Kenji's child anymore. You just decide now that's going to be his cousin. Uh, Jax probably doesn't have a child. Kong Jin, pff, not even reference, so I doubt if he even exists. He was always meant to be like the younger cousin of Kong Lao. So who the fuck knows? Blue King sucks as a god. I absolutely hate him as a god. Oh, and then by the way, Garrus, you know, the guy that was trying to kill you in the previous game, you decided, yeah, I'm just going to wipe his memory and make him in my image. Because why not? Fatality. Oh, and by the way, uh, Edenia uh, doesn't exist. Oh, it might exist because they do reference Argus, the god of Edenia. Uh, Rain might no longer be his half. Well, he's bastard son, meaning Rain ain't even half a god anymore. Um, but Edenia is just nowhere to be found. So that means Katana, um, Sindel, and what's his face? Jarek. Uh, they're not Denians, they're now Outworlders. By the way, Outworld uh, kind of killed uh, Jeric. You know, Shao killed him in both timelines. One timeline for some reason, Sindel did it, but not really. Because Eleven has so many plot holes. 
And it's like, okay, they also treat Katana like shit. So yeah, let's just make her a princess. She can't even rule it. Liu Kang, terrible fucking god. Guns, alright, that's sex all. Squish him. Did I mention that he also might turn Fujin into a woman? Sector and Cyrex into women? Because. I don't know. That's just what you get, I guess. You know? Fuck you. I remove your testicles. Oh shit, there's another key to this place? That's four to this area then. That's weird. Liu Kang is a terrible person. Just absolutely god awful. Oh, hey, Shang Tsung's laboratory. Why would he start here, yo? This is just to end. Oh, nice. No, probably gonna end at the pyramid. Anyway, though, I'm gonna end it. It's. I know it's only been an hour and a half, but. It's, I don't know. I've had a rough day as it is, I guess. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> so I'm gonna end it and then uh, probably pick this up another time. Uh, there are things I like. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, no, I only just wanted to do a short stream, but there seems to be a bit of server issues. I'm also having a bit of connection issues. Um, I don't know. So I'm just going to end it early. And I might pick it up tomorrow. Probably pick it up tomorrow and actually do some of this properly. Probably get into it. But uh, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Uh, one day I'll figure out how to do an outro, but until then, uh, good night. <laughs>